morning, church. It's a good day to worship Jesus, isn't it? Uh -huh. All right. If you wouldn't mind standing, if you're uh, able and willing, we'll lift up the name of Jesus to get it today together. He is the Lion of Judah, isn't he? I 
right now to press into that fact right now. We are who he is, who he says we are. In his presence, we're changed. Right now, whatever it is that you're up against, it just doesn't compare to what Jesus says about you. It just doesn't compare to what he's declaring over your circumstances. So I just encourage you right now to press into what he is declaring over you. To press into what he is declaring over your circumstances. To press into who he is.
voices in my mind and say I'm not enough. Every single light it tells me I will never measure. Just the sum of every high and every low. Remind me once again just who I am because I need to. Today. This is beautiful. Your praise and worship blesses me to no end. And I pray that you take another step farther and reach out to others and give them this same love that you are showering upon me this morning. Because I love you so dearly. I want there to be more of you. I have many more to come here. Start reaching out. Start pulling them into you, into me. And I will love you till the day you come live with me, and then I'll love you even more. You unravel me <coughs> with 
Amen. Do you know who you are today, church? Do you know who you are? You just declared it. Do you believe it? Are you convinced of it? Who are you again? Amen. That sounds more convincing. Hallelujah. We are children of God. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, He did not give us a spirit of bondage again to fear, but He gave us a spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He is our Father. He is our Father. And I want you to understand, you may, you may feel like you're in a, in a rough spot and it's difficult right now, and, and man, you're, just, you're having a hard time. But can I tell you this? God was the father of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they walked through the fiery furnace. God was the father of Daniel when he sat in the lion's den. God was the father of the children of Israel when their backs were against the Red Sea and he split it wide open. God was the father of all of these and he's the father of you. So no matter where you're at right now, no matter what's going on, I want you to understand God is still your father. You're still his child. He hasn't forgotten about you. He sees you. These songs aren't just songs we're singing. We're declaring things, church. We're declaring things over our lives. We're declaring things over our situations. We're declaring things over our identities. And God wants you to know I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm here. I've always been here. I'm always going to be here. You know, we've been talking on Sunday mornings about how we're free from sin. Sin no longer has control over us. Jesus has set us free. And because he set us free, we're no longer walking around saying, I'm just a worthless sinner. But now we walk around and say, we are children of the Most High God. As we just declared this this morning. What others have declared over you, and you believe the lies. You've chosen to believe those lies rather than receive the truth of what God has said about you. If that's you this morning, you're saying, you know what, Pastor, I've been believing the lie, and I don't want to believe the lie. Just put your hand in the air. Just put your hand in the air right now. I'm a child of God, and I just declare it over myself right now. We got one over here, one right here, one right here. Go ahead and keep your hand up. Guys, look around. Start surrounding these people. Start surrounding these people. All right, look around. Get around them, and just start declaring. Declaring who they are in Christ over their lives. Because I want them to be assured of their identity today. I don't want anybody to walk out of this place today. Come on, you saw hands. Nobody should be in their seats. Get around somebody. Show some love to somebody. Let them know who they are in Christ. Let them know who they are in Christ. This is a wonderful time of ministry for the church right now. Put your hand back up. Dreama had her hand up here. Nobody's up here around Dreama. Who else? Dakota. There's some people there. Who else? Aaron or Bob back there. We got a couple of guys back there, but there's still some more. Who else? Just needs to be reminded. Come on, just declare those things. Pray over them. Hey, rebuke the past. Okay, no more past. The past isn't gonna isn't gonna indicate who they are. What have been what's been said in the past isn't gonna indicate who they are anymore. It's the word of God. It's God's voice that's going to declare their identity today. Yes, just pray over them. Saturate them with love right now. Saturate them with your love.
run into his arms this morning. Let the king of he is the king of your heart. Be the shadow where I hide. The ransom for my life. Oh, he is my song. You are a good, good He's a good father. He's a good father. next to you. Now I just want you to pray over them. Just pray a prayer of blessing over their lives right now. Everybody's getting prayed for here this morning. Even up here on stage, just put your hand on somebody standing next to you. If you have to, reach out. If it's too far across, I'll just reach out. Just pray for that person. Pray for that person right now. The reason why I like to do this is because I want you to know you're not alone. You're not alone. Yes, you have Jesus, but you also have a church. You have a church family that loves you and cares about you. And as you feel that hand on your shoulder, I want you to understand you're not on this journey by yourself.
love that, I love that phrase of the song. When the night is holding on to me, God is holding on. Come on, church. There's nothing that's going to overcome you that Jesus hasn't already overcome. Amen. How many felt empty when they came in here this morning? They feel full now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Man, God is good, isn't he? Praise God. I want, I, want you to, I want to encourage you. You don't have to be in church to get that. Amen. Hey, this is a good place to get it. But man, you don't have to be here to get it. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Let's go ahead and pray. We're going to take up offering this morning. Father, we are so very grateful for your love. Thankful, Jesus, that God, you do fill us up. Lord, when we think that we are empty and we just can't find something to satisfy us, Lord, I pray that we will always turn to you because, Lord, you're what we need. You're what we need, Lord. So help us, Father God, always to be reminded of this. You are our Father. And we are your children. And therefore, you love us deeply. And we are so grateful for that love. Thank you, God, for the blessing and privilege it is to sow into your kingdom. Thank you, God, for allowing us to be stewards of your finances. But I also thank you, Lord God, that you have, you have placed a commandment over our lives, Lord, to give. And so, God, I pray, Lord, that we give freely and cheerfully today. And we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen.